Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. It is currently 5.02 a.m. And we are officially three weeks and six days. No, five days. Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Three weeks and five days out from the show. Um, that is crazy to even say. I wanted to bring you guys along because I've started recently going to the gym really early in the morning. So I'm waking up around 4, 4.30 and getting to the gym by 5. It's 5 right now, like I said. So I kind of wanted to bring you guys along this week for a couple of workouts. And then this also will help me just like stay accountable for doing it as well because I'm making a video about it. So I'm here now at the gym. Today is Monday. I'm going to start off the week with legs because then I get to end it with upper body which is what I like um otherwise like I'm gassed by the end of the week and this session sucks so I'm gonna do quads and calves today tomorrow I have a glutes uh glute session scheduled with my coach then I'll do um shoulders and back on Wednesday I have a hamstring session with my coach on Thursday and I'll do shoulders and triceps on Friday to round the week out and then I'm done lifting for the week. So we also have five days of uh, sprint interval training on the spin bike for 30 minutes, which is more than I've done. That's the highest it's been so far. And I have six days of Stairmaster. So yeah, it's a lot. Um, I'm ready. You know, I'm, I'm, I've worked this hard for this long that right now it's just kind of checking the boxes and making sure everything gets done. So I have a giant iced coffee with, it's a, an ice cold brew with a shot of espresso. I made in my espresso yesterday. And I'm just having a couple of sips of that so I can get myself together here. Um, not looking forward to training quads right now because I don't know, I just, you know, it's legs. But we're gonna get in there, we're gonna do the damn thing. I'll show you guys some clips of today's workout and every workout this week. And, um, yeah that's it i've i've been wanting to wake up at, at four in the morning to go to the gym for quite some time so this is the second week that i'll be doing that and um it's just gonna be fun to bring you guys along so let's get into the gym and start this workout because i gotta get out of here by 6 15 so i'll see you guys inside is done i didn't show you guys because um honestly i needed the music and i can't record and play music at the same time does anybody know how to do that i'm like so bad at all this like uh videography recording iphone stuff but anyways i had a pretty good workout quad focus leg day um tell me why everybody on earth was waiting to use the machines that i wanted to use at five in the morning like who else is doing hack squat at five in the morning i don't know so i couldn't do that but i made some adjustments um, and it was fine. Uh, it's nice to see people out here at this time. So I will give them that. But yeah, getting ready to start my day. Going to go and grab my food. Probably won't have breakfast just yet because then I'll be starving later on. But going to finish my coffee, get the show on the road. And then tomorrow I'm training with my coach. So you'll definitely get some footage of that. But that was Monday. Done. And I feel really good. So this, I think this week's going to be easy. Watch me be dying by the end of the week. I don't know. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. breakfast so early because I was so hungry today um I don't know it's that's something that really it's funny because I can't seem to wrap my head around exactly how hungry I can be but it is crazy like more than just the hunger it's the constant thoughts of eating just constantly having to fight off these thoughts of like 
well, you know, I could just go and have some peanut butter or, oh, I could just go and have a rice cake. Like, there's no deviation. There's no solution for this. You know, redirection is the best thing that I've found. I'm sorry if it's bumpy. I'm just uh, driving right now. But redirection is the best thing that I've found. So, for example, if I'm really craving something, I'll go and have a diet soda, which is what I'm having now. Or I'll have a tea, uh, drink some water. I'll go for a walk. But, like, man, it is crazy how badly your body wants you to just go and eat when it's not getting enough food. But that has been something that, is actually the most shocking part of all of this is the the intrusive thoughts of just wanting to go and eat food you know and constantly having to remember your reason why you started doing this and just thinking like okay you know every every time that I deviate from the plan it's another time that's getting me further away from what my goal actually is so I'm not really I'm not deviating I just you have the thoughts you know and I'm, I'm having the thoughts and it's crazy so just now like I just finished eating my lunch and I was like I'm pet sitting right now and I was like I wonder if she has any snacks like what do you wonder if she has any snacks for you're not eating snacks right now it's so weird the way the mind works but uh just keep remember keep remember yeah keep remembering your why and just think of all the work that you've done is all of this work worth some peanut butter an oreo you know what I'm saying like it's not worth it and there's a time and a place and it'll get here but it's not yet and that's okay so I have an energy drink and a diet soda going and uh, I'm gonna chew some gum probably but basically I'm just gonna work for the rest of the day I did my lift early this morning well you guys know that I told you and uh, then I went and I cleaned my car because this car was disgusting so I cleaned that up um, and it looks okay you could probably stand another cleaning it's been quite a while that I haven't had the time because this bodybuilding thing you guys it's like a part-time job you know I, I calculated the amount of hours that I'm spending doing it and it's like 28 hours a week 30 hours a week between cooking and packing measuring and weighing out my food training appointments posing practice um, posing lessons with my coach all those things they take time you know and that time is time that sometimes you're neglecting other things like cleaning my car but it's okay car was fine there's always a solution so yeah clean my car now I'm gonna get back to work and then I'm um, gonna do cardio this afternoon and get my life together finally gonna be home I haven't been home in like a week I was home for like two days uh, Friday and Saturday and then I went again to do some pet sitting so I'm excited to go back home and today today is going really well i'm happy with the way it's going i'm happy with the energy that i have today uh just having those thoughts you know those recurring thoughts of like you gotta go and eat something and no we're not eating anything okay we're being compliant to this meal plan so yeah i'll check in with you guys later when i'm prepping the food for tomorrow but for now i'm just gonna sip sip away to some gum or something i'll see you guys in a bit what's up you guys happy tuesday i'm sorry it is so dark but it is currently 4 15 i have to be on my way soon let's see if that helps does that help no um it is 4 15 i'm on my way to meet my coach right now um we're training glutes this morning i'm gonna get some clips of that for you guys and i woke up starving so i'm gonna go ahead and eat my oatmeal now um i may or may not regret this later but right now like I can't imagine doing a workout and uh, on an empty stomach like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and have my oatmeal. And um, I'm having an iced coffee as well. So I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, we just finished the workout. That workout was fire. I feel really, really good. Um, a bitch is tired, but I feel amazing. I was just talking to some other girls that are competitors as well and it's nice to be you know in an environment where you can interact with that type of people people that have done something that you're doing now and it's really really cool so i'm about to get ready to go home um once i get there i'm just gonna get ready to work oh actually i'm lying i gotta go train my client so i'm gonna go train my client um and then after that probably change my clothes take a shower or something because a girl is sweaty as hell and I'm still going to drink my iced coffee on the way home and then I'm going to get myself an energy drink because 
definitely gonna need it today but feeling really really good um i already ate my oatmeal so we'll see what i do for the next couple hours how many things i can drink between now and lunch so number one coffee number two water let's see what else i drink guys my prep game just changed i just made an amino slushy and this is the only way this is the only way forward you guys it's aminos and water and i added my reds because it's like berry flavored it's all over my face i i'm gonna eat this whole thing and it's gonna make me full and get a ton of water in and this just changes the game so get ready to see a million amino slushies moving forward because this is bomb all right we put some makeup on because you know i was looking crazy my hair i need to dye this hair so bad i'm gonna probably dye it next week just to have it a little closer to the show so that it stays fresh because since i got highlights and i bleached my hair underneath here um it just kind of soaks up the color like crazy so i'm gonna go black probably the next week but i just wanted to check in with you guys that amino slushy thing was bomb definitely helpful it is 9 49 i had my breakfast so early today like at what time was it at early in the morning like on the way to the gym so um like 4 40 or something and i'm definitely feeling hungry but I feel so much better after having eaten that. My stomach is full. I got to chew on some ice for a little bit. So that was entertaining for my mouth. So that's good. Um, I have to meet my client now. I'm going to do a training session. I already did one today. And uh, then I have to work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm cold today too. Like I'm freezing. It's just starting to get... Um, things are starting to change a little bit. It's starting to get a little down to the wire and so my body is changing and doing all this weird stuff. So um, other than that, I feel pretty good. I'll throw in some clips of the workout today. It was glutes, it was pretty cool. We did some interesting new exercises that really hit my glutes really well. And I'm having a hard time walking now because I'm just, I'm sore. Um, but I'm looking forward to training upper body tomorrow. And then I have a hamstring training session on Thursday. So I'll take you guys along for all of that. Day two of week two of waking up at 4 a.m. Going really strong. I feel so good. Still loving it. So yeah, um, I'll check in with you guys when I eat my first meal. Right now, I'm good. Like I'm pretty satisfied with that. I'm drinking some matcha, unsweetened matcha tea that I get from Trader Joe's. You guys have seen it before. I'm probably going to go to Trader Joe's um, tomorrow because I do need some peanut butter some beef and now some of those matcha lattes so i'll probably head there but for now i'm gonna chill here try to warm up i turn my car off and everything i'm cold um and then i'll see you guys in a little bit come all the way down start right there go try the glute right through here one let's work got a lot going on here got to elevate her toe take the quads out of it out of resistance band with 25 right there engage the glute there drive through the heels you stop engage the glute now drive through the heels good right there squeeze that's money right there glute focus step ups let's work with an added resistance band with a 25 because we don't do no body weight bullshit you already know let's go contract that glute i'm also my connection let's go let's go squeeze the glute and drive right there beautiful that's money right there I'm about to eat meal number one and I realized I didn't bring any freaking hot sauce. So plain beef, rice, and cucumber for me. But I'm looking forward to it because your girl is hungry. It is 11.03. So I break up this cold ass rice really quick. Let me tell you, when you're hungry, anything hits. Mm hmm. I'm gonna eat this slowly. Check in with you guys for the next one. It is hot, you guys, okay? I know I say that all the time, but it really is. This is Florida. Florida summers are not playing. So I got myself a Celsius Arctic Vibe. I'm not a big fan of this. I don't love it. It's whatever, but I'm gonna have it right now. 
Um, I also had some water and a matcha, an iced matcha from Trader Joe's. I think I told you guys this morning. I'm going to drink this. I'm going to head over to the gym. I just had meal number three, which you guys have seen before. And I'll show you meal number four because it'll be exactly the same. I stopped in and bought some stuff at a really bougie grocery store. And one of the things that I got, I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff later. But one of the things that I got was this sliced tamed jalapenos so they're less spicy than regular jalapenos and i put it on my chicken and it was really good and i got some hot sauce you know how i do um but i'll show you guys that stuff later so we're gonna head to the gym now get some cardio done and um yeah that's it that's what we're doing today okay really quick grocery haul from the back of my car from my trunk because i'm about to go in the gym but i'm looking back here so I got some ground turkey. I got three pounds of that. I got a Starbucks cold brew unsweetened coffee. I got some fat-free ready whip and of course some hot sauce. That looks so good to me. Curry hot sauce is the new, is the new trend. I also got some minute rice because do I meal prep? Yes. Do I meal prep rice? Yes. But my boyfriend still likes microwavable rice. So we got a few to try the jasmine and the regular white. Got some Dijon mustard. I was going to get gray poupon, but no. It was like $5. Okay. So I didn't get it. I got some lean ground beef. And then utensils, more microwave rice, a different brand that we want to try. This is the guy. And then, you know, sugar-free jello. My coach said I could have some if I'm having really bad sweet cravings. So I'm gonna prep some of that. But yeah, little grocery haul for you guys. Oh, I had the jalapenos in here. That's what this was. Um, anyways, let me get my ass into the gym. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is not 4 a.m. I finished work last night really late. So I didn't get home until like 10. So I didn't get to bed until like 11. And this morning when my alarm went off, I was like, okay, there's no way. So you gotta be smart about the, you know, the stuff that you're doing. You gotta be flexible enough to know when you're not gonna perform well because you didn't get enough rest. So yeah, I didn't come to the gym this morning at four or five, but I still got up at 6.30 and I'm at the gym now at seven o'clock. I'm gonna take advantage that I have some time before work and I'm gonna do my um, hit cardio session. And then I have some time late morning too and then I'm gonna do my Stairmaster session and I'm gonna do my lift in the afternoon um, because I wanna take some time really doing some uh, cool shoulder exercises that I was watching last night. I was watching a Laura Lee Chapado's video and I just like some of the things she was training. So anyways. I'm going to get into the gym. I have this new hoodie that I got for cardio. I'll show you guys. It's super cute. It's from Vans. And it has a pizza. And on the back it says you want a pizza this. And it's like an angry pizza. It's adorable. So I'm going to go inside, get on the bike, do some hit cardio, and then get going with my day. Go home, change. And then, uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit but yeah happy wednesday remember to stay flexible just because it didn't go the way you planned doesn't mean that you can't make something good happen i'm really bad at that and usually if things don't go the way that i plan i kind of like freak out and have like a really bad time but right now there's nothing i can do and i just have to take advantage of all you know the possible good moments to do some of this stuff because it's just too much exercise to do at once so i'm gonna go in there and shut up and I'll see you in half an hour because we're going to get a coffee at Wawa after. And I cannot wait. Let me tell you something. If you don't like coming to the gym in the morning, putting on some music, and just like getting some movement in first thing in the morning, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you should try it because it is the best feeling to just get moving, get in a good mood, get excited, feel good after you finish. That was just a little 30 minute session, guys. That's the shortest session that I do on any given day as a workout. Even when I go to spin class, I usually go to a 45 minute spin class. So I usually don't ever do half an hour and just a half hour, honestly, made me feel so freaking good. Like 
I am so excited to get on with my day. And when I got here, I wasn't like in a bad mood, but I didn't feel like this. Like I'm totally fired up. I was listening to some Bad Bunny from his new album and uh, doing my interval training and I'm just I'm feeling good I'm feeling happy I'm feeling blessed I'm feeling motivated I'm feeling freaking fired up so yeah go and go and do it guys like wake up in the morning take care of yourself first you can't pour out of an empty cup so you have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you can show up and be the best version of yourself for your family for your friends for everybody around you for your clients for your co-workers because nobody likes a cranky co-worker okay I know that I don't and I've been a cranky co-worker many a times but not lately So I just wanted to let you guys know that you should just definitely try to prioritize yourself, put yourself first, especially in the mornings. I don't know what it is about these morning workouts, but they just do it for me. Like I love to get up and it's hard. Okay. It's not that it's not hard. It's hard for me too. Um, But once you're up and you're kind of going and you get your music on and you get yourself like in the vibe, like once you're up, you're up and you're not any more tired at the end of the day than you would be if you would have slept an extra hour. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it sounds like, oh my God, it's an extra hour, but it's really not because you end up staying an extra hour up later in in the evening most days anyways. So, you know, like what's the big deal? I don't know. That's just my two cents. Now we're going to go to Wawa. We're going to get ourselves a coffee. I'm going to get the peanut butter fudge coffee they better still have it and uh, then we're gonna get on with work so yeah just wanted to pump you guys up a little bit happy Wednesday guys look how beautiful my oatmeal looks today the sugar-free syrup and the peanut butter and the cinnamon my god so excited to eat this I'm gonna take like 20 minutes to eat this and then we're gonna go to the gym get our second cardio session of the day done early so excited about that so tell me why i went to my first option to do cardio today and all the stair masters were taken so i had to leave that gym and come to a different gym to do my cardio but good thing is it's right down the street so not a big deal and it's only 10 30 so i'm happy about that getting it in gonna finish this session go home take a shower get ready for the day and make an amino slushy. So I'll show you guys when I do that, but let's get this done. Okay, she took a shower. She did her makeup. She ate an amino slushy. Okay, that was really good. And now it's 12 o'clock. I still haven't eaten my first meal of the day, but I'm probably gonna wait as long as I can feeling good feeling hydrated i might get some more caffeine before two today guys it's one of those days but i feel pretty good i'm gonna do some stuff for work and then i'm gonna try and record some of my shoulder workout later because i'm really excited about it i've been watching some uh some uh, bikini girl workouts on youtube and i have some good ideas for later so i'm gonna see if i can get you guys some clips but if i don't i apologize it's so hard to film when i'm by myself because i just want to listen to music you know but yeah For now, I'm just going to get back to work and see how long I can wait before I eat because I'm pretty hungry already, actually. It's super annoying, but yeah, that's life. Okay, so here's lunch. Chicken, asparagus. I have this hot sauce on it. This shit is bomb. 10 out of 10. Dijon mustard. And then I'm drinking some pump because I'm not having any caffeine because it's like 3 o'clock right now. So that's meal number two, three. Find a fresh red and hot with Planet Fitness for one dollar more. So when you see a treadmill, you also see a fast lane to more confidence. If this place that's it, join Planet Fitness for one dollar now, ten dollars a month, cancel any time. Deal. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday. It is check-in day. I am on my way to my session. It's 4 o'clock right now, 4.04 in the morning. And I have a session with my coach, so I'm on my way there, but I'm going to check in in the posing room of the gym 
before I start, I asked him if that was cool because my morning is going to be a little hectic. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and do that really quickly. I've been weighing in at 125.8 pretty much the entire week consistently. And then this morning I weighed 126.2. So not sure what that's about. Uh, and it's not a big deal, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I'll mention it to him and see what he has to say. But, um, other than that, I'm feeling really, really lean. I'm feeling really good. Everything's looking tighter, tighter and tighter every single week. So I'm feeling good. I'm pumped right now. Like really excited to do this check-in for some reason, which is weird because I've been kind of nervous for it like the whole week. But um, I'm excited now and I'm ready to get this done. So let me focus on the road. I'm just going to drive and have my iced coffee, um, which is just black iced Starbucks cold brew and a little bit of mocha skinny syrup with some sweetener and I have it in my big Starbucks cup with some ice right here you guys know the vibe mm -hmm. so we got that and yeah I'm gonna get my day started and have a fantastic workout and I'm really excited for the workout today's hamstring so hopefully I'll get some clips of that start the contraction now and drive forward yes full stretch full stretch full stretch just a tad just a tad good stretch good stretch yep let's go come on Beautiful. So on control, feel the stretch. Yes, right there. Good. Slow it down, slow it down. Yep, right there. Good. Okay, we did our check-in with Coach this morning. While I was at the gym, I took the pictures. It was really early, but um, it was good because I was not going to have time to do it in the afternoon. So I did it in the morning, and um, the food stayed the same. Oh, I got ready. I put on some put on some makeup you guys know by now this is what we're doing every day so I um the food stayed the same he added cardio so he switched up my cardio no more hit just two steady state sessions which is fine by me uh one on the stairs one on the treadmill or both on the stairs depending on how I'm feeling so I'm happy about that and yeah nothing I'm on my way to the gym now gonna get one of those sessions done probably the stairmaster since I have a lot of energy this morning and save that treadmill for later on in the day but feeling good so far i had my oatmeal same as usual and i'll show you guys my meals today they're pretty boring it's just fish and asparagus today so and i think cucumber so i'll show you but it's not gonna be fun about to do some cardio first session of the day stairmaster session looking pretty good I'm gonna put on my titan tone cream my wrap and my waist trainer you guys have seen this before but i'll show you the after there we go so now go get on the stairmaster all right the first cardio session of the day is done and that was the best cardio session i've had all of prep I don't know why, I don't know what it is, but I felt so good. The gym that I went to is freezing cold, so even wearing the hoodie, like, it was good. And I just feel so freaking good, you guys. Like, I am trying to hold on to this feeling because I know all days are not going to be like this, but today is, so I'm going to enjoy it while it's here. That was amazing. I loved it. Now we got to go to work, and then I got to, I think I'm just going to eat my first meal in a few minutes here because I'm pretty hungry. It's 11.30. So I'm going to eat my first meal and then um, I'll check in with you guys for our second cardio session because our cardio was increased a little bit. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, no big deal though. Feeling really good. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to have the first meal. I have fish because I didn't have any beef prepped. All I had was fish and chicken. So I have fish and rice with asparagus and some pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to put some hot sauce on it. And it's going to go down right now because I'm pretty hungry now. Um, 11.45, so not bad. I'll eat again in like two and a half hours. Okay, done with work for a little while. So now it is hot out here. I'm sweating. What else is freaking new? I'm going to the gym again. And I'm going to do my second cardio session. Um, my coach said that I could either do another Stairmaster session or I could do some incline walking. 
so I'll probably do some incline walking. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I could do that all day. So I'm like really looking forward to that actually. And trying to see if there's any coffee left. There's nothing. Um, I'm really looking forward to the incline walking because my legs need a little bit of a break. I did the compression boots. You guys saw that. So I did some recovery and I feel good. My legs feel really good. I don't feel sore at all. I mean, I do kind of, but not as bad as I did before. Um, so yeah, basically that's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to eat my next meal before I do my workout. If I do, I'll show it to you guys. But if I don't just know you're not missing anything because it's the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm feeling really good for being like almost three weeks out. I'll be three weeks out on Saturday. Today's Thursday. So I feel like I have a lot of energy still. I'm still like getting pretty good pumps in my workouts. I'm still feeling like I can give high intensity when I need to. Now, the only thing I will say is that my strength is absolutely trash. Like I cannot lift nearly like a quarter of what I was lifting before. And it's crazy because I can't, I just physically can't, like my body can't deal with the load and stuff. But, um, you know, there's different ways to make your exercise more challenging. It's not only about pushing weights. And that's what I like about my coach is that he knows that. And so he makes the exercises that I'm doing really, really challenging without me having to like super like load up on the weights and stuff so I like that but anyways that's why it's important to train with a freaking professional you guys and that's what you're paying for when you're paying for a coach um, because it is expensive it is not cheap it's also a luxury it's not a necessity but so is this entire sport so invest in the things that matter and and really get yourself like a coach that can work with you and, and you like and you vibe with and has a good uh, reputation and knows what they're doing and do a couple of sessions with somebody if you don't know anything about them and see if it, it works for you if it doesn't work for you don't stay you know you don't you don't have to marry these people so anyways yeah rambling a lot I'm on my way to the gym and then I'm gonna do cardio and uh, eat my food and yeah that's basically it I'm gonna see if I go to Wawa and get a um, a cherry limeade they have zero sugar cherry limeade I think it's like 20 calories for a large one 32 ounces it's 10 calories per serving and the servings 17 ounces so yeah that's all actually almost 36 ounces but anyways whatever I'm gonna try and go and get uh, a cherry limeade or maybe I'll get the grape who knows but I'm gonna go and try to do that and then I will see you guys when I see you in a YouTube minute treadmill cardio haven't done this in years still feeling really good got my hoodie on Got my waist trainer on. 45 minutes. Let's get it. Hey guys, I'm getting ready for bed, but I wanted to show you. I just finished doing 300 lateral raises. I am wearing a shirt. I just want to show you guys the pump that I have right now. Tell me that's not freaking insane. Holy shit. Wish my shoulders look like that all the time. But anyways, getting ready for bed. I just um, applied a BHA to my face, the Paula's Choice one, and then I'm gonna put on this Murad Hydration Serum and then call it night. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our last 4.30 wake up call of the week. So we can go to the gym at five and do our first cardio session. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. Happy Friday, everybody. Good morning. It is not that early in the morning because I did not wake up at the butt crack of dawn today. I woke up at 6.15 and I must say I feel really good. Now, the only reason that I did that was because I looked at my schedule for today and I do have quite a bit of time during the day. So, uh, and I'm still trying to figure out my training schedule since I have two long cardio sessions now um, and I went to bed pretty late. So... I am up now going to train my first client and then I'm going to be doing my cardio uh, the first session in the late morning and then I'm going to do my lift and my second cardio in the afternoon and see how that feels um, but I feel pretty good I'm glad that I at least still got up at six and I didn't like waste a bunch of time um, I don't know I just I'm tired but I feel pretty good still feeling pretty good yesterday was amazing felt 
the best I've felt in all of prep and I'm gonna try and replicate that feeling today I'm gonna try and hold on to it I don't know but so today um, I have shoulders and back and last night I had to do those lateral raises this morning I woke up and my shoulders are like dead but uh, yeah the show must go on so I'm just going to go train my client and then I will catch you guys in a little bit all right a little later in the morning here i just got freaking packed up took all my stuff i grabbed a change of clothes because i'm about to do cardio i grabbed a hoodie i grabbed my gallon of water i have an energy drink i have pre-workout for later i have my greens my reds what else do i freaking have i have my makeup for the day because i haven't put that on i have do my shoes match my other outfit yeah they do okay that's important you guys okay your shoes gotta match and yeah at least it's important to me so i have all of that stuff in my car with me and i am now headed to the gym it's 9 55 i already had my oatmeal because um i was hungry so i ate that and i feel pretty good Putting away some laundry, getting ready to go to Target. We need some melatonin gummies because we're out and some hydration stuff. Uh, we like prime hydration drinks, so we're going to get that, even though I probably won't have them for a while. And basically, that's it. I'm going to take a shower and get ready for bed. I'm going to do some posing practice before that. And um, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you for coming along with me this week, waking up early with me, coming to the gym with me, just coming along for the ride. I appreciate it. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, whatever, and share this video with somebody that you think would like it. And until next time, I will catch you guys next week. As of today, we are three weeks and one day out. So tomorrow will be three weeks out. So next week, I'll bring you guys for a day in the life type of situation. Or maybe I'll do a weekly vlog. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much again. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.